Attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey everybody, how are we doing? Lee Pennington, hope you are fine and well. Firstly, thank you so much for attending this drop mock bonus webinar. And secondly, can you put my heart at rest and just let me know that you can hear my voice and you can see my screen saying drop mock video bonus webinar. And we shall begin. Fantastic. What an absolutely amazing crowd in tonight. Everybody is getting involved. Cool. So um, let me go into a few of these. John, thank you. Jack, thanks. Phil, thank you. Uh, Constance, hey, how are you doing, Constance? Catherine, Joy, Alexander, Joanne, Stephen, um, Jeff, Derek, Herman, Wood, Berry, oh, Cameron, should I say, uh, Kevin. Yeah, a few people are putting the names around backwards. So if I do pronounce or do say your surname, I do apologize. But so many people in the house and so many people saying loud and clear. So we are ready to begin. A um, little bit of kind of housekeeping, just so you are aware, it is the Dropmock bonus webinar. Pure value, pure content, okay, um, not sure what kind of other bonus webinars that you have been on, but this is going to be a training webinar, how to use Dropmock, um, how to use other tools with Dropmock, which are free, okay, um, how to get the most out of the software, but not only that, how to make kind of stunning actual videos and how to approach clients. There's going to be jam-packed full of stuff. What I will say, guys, I am, I am just for a while going to ignore the chat box, okay? My team are in the background. Um, I've also got Adam with me. Um, those that don't know Adam, he is going to do the mastermind coaching with me tomorrow. Very much kind of sales orientated, you know, a kind of um, expert in that field. But hey, Adam, do you want to quickly say hello? Hey Lee, thank you for that. Yeah, so I'm very excited for everybody who got into the mastermind. We're going to be working together and then for the next five weeks um, to really start taking your business to the next level with Dropmock. So I'm excited to have you all here and I look forward to uh, seeing what Lee is offering today for everybody um, as well. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, and uh, before anyone worries, we're not actually offering anything. We're not going to upsell you anything. We're not going to do anything. We are literally going to give you pure value okay so um, again for anybody who has heard me before speak um, do very many webinars lots of training webinars um, coaching webinars obviously launched a lot of software but I'm just going to give you a little bit of background on who you are speaking to or listening to um, and like I say it's no war and peace um, I didn't beat a crack habit to suddenly make a million dollars online um, and it's not a kind of, uh, this is the Lee Pennington show. So a brief introduction because I only feel it's right. So many people have probably never heard of me before, never heard me speak. So you have to introduce yourself. It's only kind of uh, good manners. So Lead7, if you ever hear me about speak about Lead7, Lead7 is my company. Okay, uh, obviously I'm Lee Pennington. I'm the owner of Dropmock. Um, and I live in that small dark area there in the UK. Um, and I've made it dark because it's always bloody raining, okay? I mean, most of the UK is normally wet, but we live in a very wet county called Lancashire, okay? And I live in a small place called Chorley. Um, married, two kids. Um, I'd go as far as saying Mr. Average, okay? Um, and I like doing that. I, I kind of self-taught in, in what I've done. Um, came online predominantly about three years ago and uh, was the worst affiliate marketer in the world, because I just bought everything out there, spent loads of money, more than I could to kind of admit to my wife, um, but turned it around when I went into Facebook advertisement and got quite good at that. Then kind of brought out my first ever course, um, launched that course on, on JVZoo, showing people how to actually make money with Facebook ads, and then went into software development. Um, and that was over the last two years. In the last two years, we've done over a million dollars worth of units. So we know what we're talking about with regards to software. However, Dropmock now is our flagship product. Um, you will see us improve the platform. You will see us grow the platform. You will see us commit to the platform like we have done for the last four months. And anybody who's been with that journey with us, massively appreciation. Um, you ain't seen nothing yet with regards what we've got coming. So be excited for that. Um, yeah, and like I said, I have a full-time job as well here in the UK. Um, so I actually am a crew manager in the fire service here in, in the UK. Now, the only reason I tell you that is because when I do any kind of coaching calls and people tell me that they don't have time to do something, they don't have time to actually spend on studying something, they don't have time to actually learn something, develop something, then that 
excuse doesn't wash with me um i do <clears throat> excuse me 48 hours even before i do the software development and yeah it is something that that makes me kind of my blood boil when people say they don't have enough time so that is me in a nutshell if you want to know more about me please do reach out to me and i'll happily give you more details on me so why are we here um and go, those guys that have been here before the webinar this isn't the same webinar that you've been on before it's a totally unique webinar but i'm just introducing drop mark um, and a little bit about the team so anybody who thinks to themselves wow i've seen these slides before you'll have seen the first three four five slides then after that we're going to go over to drop mark we're going to start using free software and we're going to start showing you how to use the platform um, and hopefully through all that i will answer a lot of the questions that are coming in chat like i said anyone who's just coming in i'm just ignoring it my team are taking care of that but there's so many questions firing up that it's important to let you know um, that i'm doing that uh, okay so drop mark was predominantly created um, four months ago in fact it was developed over 12 months ago or the, the development path started over 12 months ago um, to solve the problem that i had okay um, the problem that i had was actually i couldn't create graphics the way that i wanted them and all the graphics artists out there would either rip me off um, would either give me shoddy work which i didn't feel was the standard of what i paid for or even the good ones would go quiet on me now that is is part and parcel of why i developed drop mock and a lot of people kind of say how do you come up with these ideas to launch software or how do you do these coaching programs or your ideas uh, and nine times out of ten i'll always tell them if you find a, a group of people who have a solution so you have a problem and give them that solution then you have a product there but i do it the other way around in saying that if i have a problem okay and i make it a lot easier because i'm a marketer if i have a problem doing something and if i can find a solution for that problem there'll be other marketers like that who want that solution and that's what drop mock did and primarily drop mock video so drop mock video is the ability for you regardless of your experience or expertise um, to be able to create stunning videos with your content with your client content at the touch of a button okay and drop mock image where we first began um, again tiny tiny little bit about the company because we are a company we are a business and so many people go on these coaching calls and tell people that you should when you come online treat it as a business however even the people telling you that don't actually do that and they were one man bands but you've got um, a, a complete company behind drop mock our headquarters is in manila okay which is in in the philippines um i've been there about four months ago i just got back and um yeah that's where our videographers are our photographers are um where we're hiring the models i'm kind of based in the uk but we have offices in manila which is dealing with everything with regards to drop mock and drop mock video um, that gives us the ability to have in-house production. So if you're in the Facebook group and if you are a, um, a monthly actual member or a yearly member, then you should be in the Facebook group. But the Facebook group, we do ask for kind of opinions back of where you want us to take drop mock. Uh, and to a certain degree, we'll always try to deliver that. However, there are certain limitations, but a lot less limitations with regards that we have our own staff. We have our own team so we're not confined by restrictions of let's say stock footage or outsourcing things we literally shoot everything in-house and that gives us total control total control over the direction of the business and the company total control on knowing that we are going to support this improve it and make sure that you absolutely love the application but more importantly use the application um, and we're already having massive results Back from people who are using it um, we'll talk later on in the actual webinar about one of our customers who did a $45,000 deal using drop mock um, and if you're in the mastermind group which we're going there we're going to dissect that fully but we'll give you a, a, a brief overview of how people now are able to attract big clients and not be worried about kind of um, how professional their videos look and how professional their images look because they are bang on the money and it's been proven by that big 45k contract and that was a massive contract and the actual mock-ups that were used in that blew the prospective clients away to virtually say yes you've got the position because what you've done and we'll give you twenty two and a half thousand dollars up front but we will cover that in a minute um, not going to go through that not going to go through that um, with regards engagement it, our videos are optimized 
to actually fall within that 70% engagement. So we did our own case study, we did our own research, we were backed up by Worcester, who did over 500,000 videos with 1.3 billion plays and showed you that a video between one and two minutes has the highest engagement level. We start going past that two minutes and you start to drop off and it's not kind of a gradual drop off, it is a rapid drop off where anything getting close to the 20 minute mark and you've lost over 50% of engagement. You'll see it yourself in Facebook, the, the videos, the video ads, um, even videos that you sometimes watch. You look at the time element even before you watch the video. Um, not going to go through that, okay? So what I'm going to do now is actually go over to Dropmock um, and talk about Dropmock. Now, what I'm going to do, run through Dropmock, I'm going to run through it from, let's say you as a total beginner. And again, the reason why I'm doing that is because we have different levels of people on the call who have just got into the platform, don't know that much about it. I bet there's even people on the call who haven't even logged into the software. So shame on you, okay? So if you're happy with that, if you want us to now start doing actual over my shoulder type creation of videos, editing of videos, showing you some tips and techniques of how to add sound with free software, how to add logos, how to use the biggest video platform on the planet to be able to use the editor, then just put into chat, yes. Or if you want me to continue with the other 67 slides, then just set slides and I'll happily do that as well. But I'm very much kind of showing you, okay? Um, and that's what we're all about on these calls. We want you to be engaged with it. We want to get reaction from you. We want you to actually answer the questions. So let me know where you want me to take this, doing the demo, doing the over the shoulders or death by PowerPoint. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's quite quite interesting. A lot of people saying both. Okay, demo, demo, over the shoulder. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, 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 fantastic. So we will come back to the actual um, PowerPoint presentation, but what we're going to do is actually go over. And uh, yes, Jody, it is. Um, the reason I'm going to record it is because I do want you to be able to use this as a reference. Okay, so it is being recorded, ladies and gentlemen, because I sometimes, I'm, I'm from the UK, uh, and when I get excited about things, I start to talk fast. So if you have to kind of watch me back and slow me down a little bit, then by all means do it. But um, it is being recorded, and hopefully, if the go-to webinar gods are, are smiling upon us, then the webinar replay will be sent out to you guys. Okay, let's go over to the application then. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this and then I'm going to show you some things which will really speed up the process and make your videos absolutely stunning. Now, this is Dropmock and everything that's been created within Dropmock, and you all know what Dropmock is, but for those that don't, this is Dropmock, okay? Um, now, everything that we you see within Dropmock has been shot by our team. So ranging from the models that we use, we obviously hired the models. Um, if you've been on the webinar before, you'll notice Laura. Laura actually works for the company now. So she's in the Facebook group and she was one of the models that we hired, but she's actually joined us because of the fantastic personality she had. Um, but we're gonna keep adding to these as well. There should be over 102 actual videos in your application. And as you go down, you'll keep loading them and loading them. Um, you will notice that when you load everything up, okay, in the bottom right, you will see either a video player or you will see an image player, okay? That is purely telling you that they're an image or a video just for first glance. Um, what you can also see on the left-hand side as well, a filter system. So you could hide the videos, okay, and it's just going to show the images, or you can actually show the videos and hide the images, you know, vice versa. Um, on the left hand side as well, you will still see a filter system, okay? The filter system is going to become more advanced, but at the moment, it's got things like frames, posters, books, magazines, so again, showing you what's going to come into the platform, cups, mugs and bottles, billboards, signages, apparel, which is t-shirts, hats, etc., tablets, smartphones, desktop, miscellaneous, um, and the sketch as well, which is, is, is important to know. Okay, before I go into this, in fact, no, we'll go into this first of all. So um, let's just use kind of Laura. Okay, and again, when we go into a video, it's important to actually watch that video to see if it matches the marketing message that you want to get across. 
And even though we have put a, a little sentence at the top telling you what that video is, it can still, it, it doesn't have to just relate to that market space. So you can adapt very many of these videos to meet different things. Like we have one with yoga um, that could quite easily be kind of fitness, well-being, um, gym work, lots of different kind of kind of uh, areas that you can put that into. But once you watch the video and you're happy with the video, okay, um, and the video works in a three-step process. We have an intro, we have a middle section, and we have an outro. Now, what is also important to realize is that this isn't like any other mock-up or any other video mock-up out there. This is video on video. Um, the reason why this is so special is that we are trying to make it as real life as possible, as realistic as it possibly can. So obviously Laura is now watching the screen and this is where your content would become. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, what happens is that you can then upload a video. And when you press upload a video, you have the different kind of ratios here. You have the size of the file. And we'll talk about that in a minute with regards to reducing the size of a file if yours is too big. Um, and it also tells you the duration should be 60 seconds. The reason for that is because it actually links into that optimum time for engagement through a video, so between one and two minutes. Now, what will happen is, is the middle section will stretch to meet the needs of your video. So if you uploaded a 15 second video, it would play for 15 seconds. If you uploaded a 55 second video, obviously it would play that for 55 seconds. And this is where your content comes in. It's as simple as clicking on upload video. Okay, that's the wrong files. Okay, um, choosing an actual video. So go into videos. Okay, so let's just choose um, an actual video here. And let's just choose um, a restaurant menu. Okay. Um, and we'll just choose a restaurant menu. We'll put the restaurant menu in there. Um, once happens is you'll see the top at the bottom top. That's the video loading. So it's loading into the platform. It's extremely fast for an application to be able to do what it's doing. It then comes back and asks you to crop the actual video. Okay. So you can see the video, but you can get it to perfectly match just by going. Um, if you wanted to actually make it bigger, if you use your mouse, okay, the scrolling button you can actually scroll it in and out. Again, that is ideal for the images as well. So when you're using the images, if you use the mouse and you use your scroll on, on the actual mouse, then that will um, that will actually make the image shrink or increase. And all I'm gonna do is crop and generate video. And it's as simple as that. Now, what could we actually put into the mockups? And I'm gonna show you some examples of this. Um, if you look at some of the actual mockups, there are some that are not with models in them. There are some where you're not seeing the green screen. So you could quite easily put a restaurant menu here, a coffee kind of um, a coffee place uh, restaurant, sorry, restaurant menu. So uh, it, they could be scrolling through the menu of uh, the local hairdressers. They could be scrolling through the menu of the local plumbers. You know, there's a million and one things that we can do with that. We can have testimonials. So let's say, for instance, you have multiple testimonials. Um, much better to rather than have them on a static image, but to actually have them on a moving video. So you could actually put them together and have them have a video on there. We could also take a screenshot of our website. So if you'll notice, we take screenshots of our website and we put it in there. Now, one thing to also mention as well for anybody who, who's worried, the actual previews, you don't use any credits, okay? So it's important to preview the video before you do anything with it, okay? So it's a basic video that I've put up there, but it's important. Preview that video, and then you're not going to use any credits. Even though it costs us to render these videos, we wanted to make it sure that you are 100% happy with what you had done, with what you had created before you use any credits. So the previews do not cost anything. You don't use any credits. So again, remember to always preview. Now, once you're happy with that, you have two actual things that you can do. You can upload directly to YouTube by clicking here. Now, anybody who's not seen upload to YouTube, you should either have the monthly club, it be in that, or the yearly club, and that would give you, if you're still not seeing upload to YouTube and you are a monthly user or a yearly payer, what that means is that you have not connected your YouTube account. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but all you're going to do is go to my profile, and that is where you're going to connect 
your YouTube account as well as your Usain account. Okay, now we can download in two formats, standard video, high definition video, or we can save directly to my drive. Saving to my drive will store the video for you, will store the image for you, and you don't have to worry about downloading it on your own application or your own PC. Um, upload to YouTube, what will happen there? It will upload directly to the YouTube account that you have added. Now there's also a link within here, top right, my profile, where you can actually disconnect your YouTube account. So say for instance, you had multiple clients with multiple different YouTube accounts that you had access to, you will quite easily manage those and upload the videos directly to the from the platform. Okay, so once you click upload to YouTube, what will happen is that the software will then send the video over to YouTube as a private video. So no one else will see that video. What you what Dropmock will also do, it will email you once that video is ready to view. Obviously, when we launch, when we upload videos to YouTube, they're not instantly ready to be able to watch. So the software lets you know when it's done. It also gives you a downloadable link in the application. So you don't have to use credits for uploading and downloading. It actually gives you both links in that. It gives you a YouTube link and it gives you the download link. I'm going to talk a little bit about YouTube editor in, in a while. Uh, and it's quite a good tool to be able to use. Okay. Um, one of the things that we, we should notice as well while we're on this section is, in fact, I'll go through a, a few more things first of all, and then I'll give you some tips and tricks of how to combat certain things. Okay. So with regards, that's what we're doing with that now. With regards to images, exactly the same process. Okay. So I'll simply just choose one of the images. Let me just choose. Right, so I'm going to make a difference. I'll use this one. This is one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Okay. So I use this image. Um, again, you can actually drag an image in if you wanted to. You can upload an image or you have the website URL. So if I were to go over to YouTube now, and if I were to click on YouTube, take that URL, paste it in there, press grab image from URL, it would go over to the website, it would take a screenshot of that website and it would bring it back into the image for me to be able to crop, okay? Um, also upload image, you will also see as well um, a connection to Usine. And guys, don't worry if I'm going too fast, it is being recorded. But you'll also see a connection to Usine. If you have a Usine account, again, go to the top right, connect your Usine account, and then you can grab your images directly from Usine into there. So let's upload an image, okay? So let me just go and upload an image uh, very, very quickly. Let's just choose any image that we want. Let's just choose that one. Okay, same principle again, but you've got the scrolling wheel if anybody was worrying about trying to fit it in. Okay, just change that uh, and crop and save. Dead, dead easy, dead, dead simple. Okay, and again, all the work will go on in the background with that. The difference that you've got now is that you can use the image editor. So how would you use the image editor? By simply going to add text effect, choose the image that we want to take over. We'll just choose standard for speed. Okay, and we have it now in the image editor. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, it's a very advanced image editor. It's an Adobe powered one. Um, and that's the partnership that we have with Dropmock with it. Um, but you can change things. And, and when we do the mastermind coaching tomorrow, um, we will talk, we'll talk a lot about ad blindness, how to get over that. Um, and, and this is one of those ways. So for instance, if your image was looking extremely well and all of a sudden you weren't getting the clicks and you weren't getting the um, actual conversion because you weren't getting the clicks, then we can do things with that image. We already know that image is working well with that audience. So we can make it stand out even more. Um, and that's what a lot of actual Facebook advertisement is out with regards to making you stand out from everywhere else because of that competition. Okay, so again, it's it's what we'll talk about tomorrow. Uh, and other things like adding stickers, you know, just double click, drag them in, um, move them over, just trying to make things just, just as, as professional as you possibly can. Okay, professional as you possibly can with sunglasses. <laughs> okay, so cancel that. Um, and you can add text, you can draw, um, but everything is drag and drop. Okay, so you don't have to worry about having any kind of degree to be able to use Photoshop. It's all done within the and we simply go to apply. Now what we can also do in, in my drive, okay, and this is the last bit of this, in my drive, okay, we have the ability to be able to, let's say for instance we had 
um, clients that we wanted to show the mock-ups to. We can actually add these from my drive. So what will happen is we can get a catalog embed code in my drive. We'd simply copy that over to our, let's say, WordPress site, anywhere that will accept this, um, lock it in, and then you are ready to go with regards clicking on the images and make them viewable through that embed code. No direct link back to Dropmock, okay? Um, again, we, we know in the past that, that our customers, our users don't want that. So you could actually create a portfolio of mock-ups that you could do for your clients, send them to on your WordPress site. Again, you don't want to reveal your sources. You don't want to reveal how easy it is to do this because you can do it in a matter of seconds. Um, but you could also create multiple portfolios to multiple prospective clients because of that. Now, what I should also say as well is the fact that um, we do know that if you are a main user, you have personal use. If you are a, a monthly user or a yearly user who paid off that one, one yearly fee, um, you would then um, have the commercial license to be able to use these. Goes back to that same old kind of thing what I said on all the webinars, how are we able to give a commercial license at such cheap? Because we shoot everything, okay? It's our own videographers, it's our own photographers, it's the models that we hire. We're not having to, you know, go out and, and, and source kind of contracts off people. Um, if you go over and try to buy templates yourself, you get two prices. You'll get number one, the actual private use, and then lo and behold, you'll try to get the commercial license and then they'll add an extra hundred dollars on top of that. So again, you know, the yearly payment and yeah, the yearly payment has been closed down, ladies and gentlemen. So I do appreciate the yearly payment has been closed down. We did close that. But those that did get in with the yearly, um, you got an amazing deal in the fact that you pay 197 you have this for 12 months, okay? You have $2,400 worth of credits. Instantly, you have access to everything, and you have the commercial license to be able to use this. So literally, for that one-year payment, you're not a million miles off paying for two video mock-ups. Okay, and, and go and do your research yourself. Go and do your research and see what you've got here. So well done for, for that. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic deal with regards to that. And I should also add is that we're not going anywhere. You know, we're still going to continue to add actual mock-ups to it. So every month we're going to have 30 images. Uh, we're also going to have video mock-ups, 20 uh, a month. We have the next four months of video shoots all planned, and then we'll continue to plan more. Um, multiple different models, um, multiple different scenes. You'll also notice that in some of these, um, like this one, let's say for instance, okay, this is a guy actually um, not, you won't see the screen, but you'll see the screen to the left of him. So again, it's a projection shot. So look in a projection shot, whatever it may be, and there's multiple different ones. Okay, let me just go back to there. Right, let me just check that I am going at an old case pace. Um, okay, Eric, you should have done, you should have done um yes it does marty okay mr artemis you should have if you have my drive it will be in the monthly user or the yearly okay everyone's saying i'm good so i'll continue with the way i am going okay so this is drop mark uh, and like i said i could spend all day on this and, and show you things but what i want to do on this webinar is give you so much more is, is give you what you can potentially do with it as well so you'll notice that we have um one thing that I'll, I'll say first of all is um, if you come to a video, okay, I'm going to go through lots of different things now and I'll break it down into steps and I'll also give you a PDF at the end which is going to give you everything that I've covered. Okay, so don't worry if you think, I can't remember what he said because I'm going to give you a PDF covering all the other applications that we use. Um, so if you come to a video and it's above 50 megabytes. I mean, that's a staggering video to be above 60 seconds. But if you ever face that issue, we can use something called Handbrake. Now, Handbrake is a free software. It's a free application. And don't worry about going over and researching it now. I'm going to give you the links. Okay? And what I should also say as well is they are free software. Um, some of them are open source. A lot of them are free. Um, so don't worry about it. I'll give you all the links. Now, what handbrake does it allows us to actually reduce the size of the video very easy software and again i'll do some training on this over the next few weeks probably um, but all we're going to do is choose video the only thing we're going to change we're going to change it to medium then we're going to actually drop in our, our video in there and we're actually then going to give it a destination of where we want to go that's how easy it is 
and then we would press start and what would happen then is that it would take that video and without losing hardly any quality in fact quality that you wouldn't be able to see you're going to reduce that video file size down to a manageable level um, and again you can use this in, in different places for actual um, than drop mock but it's a great tool to actually have at your arsenal and it's free okay so simply choosing um, when you choose a left hand side source you'd find the file okay so wherever that file is that video file simply click it add it in here then you would add the file destination so if you wanted it to go into C drive at a certain place you would simply do that you could do browse and then you go to start and then lo and behold the video file is reduced but I'm going to give you loads of little things like this, guys. So just, just bear with me as well. I am giving that PDF out as well. Okay, so one of the options within Dropmock is that it's going to take your video and add it to YouTube. Remember, if you're not seeing the YouTube link, you're not a monthly member or you're not a yearly member. Um, however, if you are, then you have to connect your account here. So the top right, click on here, go into My Profile, okay? When you go to my profile, you will see some integration. You'll see YouTube integration. You'll see Uzine integration. The YouTube integration, it's dead easy. So you've connected your YouTube account with an email. Now, it's important to remember also is the email that you have on file for Dropmock is the email that it's going to want to open that YouTube account with. Um, or you can disconnect the account and actually upload with a different one. But we'll go through that. Um, as well so important if you're not seeing YouTube that is the reason uh, Uzine integration again you'll have a public key from Uzine and a token um, we'll give you links there to, to, to directly get that if you need to know where they are in with Uzine and also remember ladies and gentlemen we have obviously the training videos there we have the support link there um, please do check out our blog because we give you um, a, a good kind of background into the behind the scenes of how we create these images, how we create the videos, uh, meeting the team. And I also do a lot of value in there. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about a lot of things in there. Um, so go over to the blog. And you'll also notice this blue marker, the bottom right hand corner, that is the chat facility with our, my amazing team. You'll probably see Martin in there a lot, who is absolutely amazing. You'll see Rachel in there, who's absolutely amazing. Um, so you see a lot of the team. So, you, like I said, we aren't going anywhere overnight. We're here to stay. Um, we've committed. Um, our support network is there. Um, and, yeah, and, and before I go over to support, I always say we don't say we get everything right first time, but we will continue to do till we get damn close. Okay, and that's the type of people that you're dealing with, and I hope that does come across when you deal with our support and when you deal with me in, in Facebook or wherever you do see me. So let's go over to YouTube now. Okay, so this is my YouTube account. Now, once I publish a video to YouTube, this is where it's going to come. And it's going to come as, an, it'll be in my videos. So it's going to come to my videos. Okay, I'll just go to home, so I'll show you how to get here. Okay, so you go to home, on the left-hand side, once you've gone into your YouTube account, you go to my channel. Okay, and this is the screen that I, I want you to see. I then want you to go to video manager, okay? And again, it's recorded this, ladies and gentlemen, so don't be doing this at home. Go to Video Manager. Okay, then what I want us to do is come on the left-hand side, and I want to go to Create. Okay, then when I'm going to Create, I want to click on Video Editor. You'll also notice that you have free music here, okay, which is a bonus as well, but um, we'll go over that in a little while. So go to Video Editor. Okay, now I've been playing around with this just before I came online. I'm just going to mute that. Okay, and I'm going to go through some of the functions. Let me just let me just mute that. Okay, cool. So I've just been, um, basically what this will do now, it will connect to your YouTube account and it will display all your videos. So your videos that you have in your YouTube account, you can now actually go. So the videos that you upload directly from YouTube, will come to the YouTube editor, which is pretty cool, okay? So once you've done that, you can then put them on the timeline. Simply click on one, and it actually goes over to the timeline. Now, this Dropbox sneak peek was actually one that I created, okay? Now, what you can also do with that video, you can add music, you can have intros, you can have transitional slides, you can add images, you can split it by using the actual split screen here, and all you would do is split it, 
okay but i'll just let this play um i'm not too sure i don't think you'll be able to hear the music but i've actually added a music title to this um and all i've done very very basic if you've got something like let's say um videos and you've got a logo then you can add your logos here let's say you have transitional slides obviously you can use the transitional slide this is a transitional slide um, you can use the transitional slides which these guys do and all you simply do is you drag it in and anywhere that you've cut it it'll simply go there okay and i'll just mute this because i don't want it to play but as you can see now this is going to play my video okay i've got a transition slide i go back into the video okay i've got another transition slide coming up and then i've got an actual image so we can put our drop mock images in there um, and then i'm going through the video all in the while i've used the music file at the bottom so there's music playing i could be telling clients you know through this i could make one video there was a showcase of all my drop mock creations as you can see with the video that we upload to youtube there is no um watermark there's no link back but i could easily put together four five ten twenty videos i could put in my contact details at the beginning i could put in an outro slide at the ends so how would i do that well let me just quickly come back to the beginning here okay let me just pause that okay and it's as simple as say for instance i wanted to um, add a video i could then go and search creative common video so i could use other videos i can type in okay let's say for instance dogs um doesn't always bring them back but let's say search okay it's going to bring back some um some creative commons videos that i'm allowed to use so I quite easily bring them in i can upload so we know that drop mock creates multiple you know you have over 200 mock-ups that you can create so you simply go add more photos okay and then you can upload photos and you simply go and drag the mock-ups you created with drop mock now this could be tailored towards a specific client this could be tailored towards a specific niche this could be tailored towards anybody who wants to buy mock-ups from you remember monthly yearly you have the commercial license we can have music here so again i could simply choose one of these titles and put it, drag it down to here it's all drag and drop and it's going to put the music file there we've seen the transition i can add an actual center tile a banner so i can put a banner in here i can put a banner in at the beginning and on that banner i could simply put i could even leave my mobile number so let me just pause that so okay i could even leave my mobile number and get people actually buying that at the beginning and, and telling them to contact me there so as you can see very easily to add i could have my website okay very very easy to do now what we can also do is okay where do we go and preview we can preview how it looks from trying to get to the side now is it on here okay there's a way of actually previewing side by side and i can't actually remember where that is now but that's that's the, the 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 beauty about this you've got an image editor you've got a video editor directly within the software now where you don't have to pay for anything else you don't have to pay for camtasia you don't have to be an expert it's all drag and drop and the beauty about it is you've got the most powerful two available you've got drop mock video so do you know before when obviously we knew how to create intro slides or we knew how to put our logo there the real problem we had we're actually creating that middle section the video the most important part the most engaging part the most the part that gets people to actually sit up and take notice you have that on mass you can add anything you want to the drop mock video to that content and then add it over to the youtube editor now let me show you one other thing as well before we actually start to uh, talk about um the links and giving you the links for these um, let me just go over um, and again this is a free resource i'm just going to go and grab that let me get okay now this is called movie maker okay now movie maker don't get me wrong it's an old it's an old application uh, however it's free i'll give you the links okay um it's by windows i, be I believe uh, and i'll give you links to other ones as well guys what i want to give you at the end of this is this pdf so you're going to go and i'm going to give you this and what's it's going to do it's going to go through free software for screen recording um snag it is the one that i use on the left hand side and, and jing you'll, you'll notice um i think with snag it that's one that's something like a 14 day 
uh, trial, but all the others are, are free. So we're going to sort of screencastify, uh, media core capture. Uh, I'm going to show you about how to actually compress your video. So I'm going to give you this uh, chip champ, pretty press for, um, and also the free video editing software. And this is Movie Maker. And there's links within the actual PDF, guys. Uh, and because they're free, don't worry, they're not affiliate links. <laughs> okay, even though that is my business. Uh, so let me go over to the, the, the video maker. So let's say, for instance, it's dead easy to use. I've created um, an actual creation with uh, Dropmock. And I want to add voice. I want to add sounds. I want to add different clips. Now, video or movie maker is one of the easiest applications to use. And all we're going to do is add a video. So we're going to click on this button here, add videos. Okay, I'm just going to finish this one, and I've put this as portfolio finish. Okay, now, once I've seen I've clicked it, it's in the application. Uh, and again, another thing that we could use Dropmop for before, say, for instance, we were putting in an actual bid for a tender. Say, for instance, we were sending somebody our portfolio. Say, for instance, we were going for a, a job or something. Say, for instance, we were trying to attract different clients. Much better to actually show them something than actually tell them something. And I tell that all the time. We're gonna close more people. Um, we don't have to worry about using the same language as what that person in that industry works. If they see something that is instantly gonna be recognizable, so let's say for instance, we add their branding, we add their image. Let's say for instance, we are targeting people on Facebook and you know the product that we want to sell is something that they, they relate to. They see, as soon as they see it, bam, they, they know then and that's why video works so well we don't have to worry about kind of um you know the copy that we use as such even though copy is very powerful so we, we've added this now and say for instance i wanted to add a voiceover um, and i wanted to say to my prospective clients this is what i can do for you um you know this is the, the thing they don't need to know how you've done it but let's say for instance now all we're going to do is record narration okay now what's going to happen here um I'll try to play this back. It may work. It may not on Gold 2 webinar because they are a little bit funny about you playing things back. But all you're going to do is simply record. And then I'm going to watch it and I'm going to start to talk. So now I'd start to talk to that client. I'd tell them what was going to come. I'd give them an intro. I'd get them excited with what we're about to come. And then I'd actually show them my portfolio. So I'm talking to a web designer. I'm going through everything that I can possibly do for them. I'm showing them branding. I'm showing them interfaces that I've done. I'm speaking to them. I'm offering them actual discount codes. Okay. But this is much more powerful than me actually telling them. Okay. And I go to stop, save that file, and then I have a narration. If I play that back now, let's see if you can hear it. I'm not sure if you will, but let's see. Can you hear that? Could you hear that? How easy it was? Okay. Can you? Could you hear that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Brilliant. That's how easy it was to do. Can anybody do that? Does anybody think they couldn't do that? Let me know in chat now if you don't think you could do that. Okay. Everyone's saying yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So what I might want to do now, I might want to chuck in a background sound. I might want to put in something that you know a little bit of music. So all I'm going to do now is add music. Click on Add Music. Okay, I've got a few options. I can upload the music file. This may be that I've gone and had something created specific. So it may be that I've had a voiceover by a professional who doesn't sound as dull as what I do with my Northern accent. It may be that I've, I've put something together and I want to add it. Or I can go over to the free music archive. Just choose one of these. And again, I'm just going to choose one. I'm just going to choose this bur burlesque. Okay. Just going to download that. Okay, simply download. Okay, so that's now downloaded. Save. Go back to the application. Okay, simply press add music. And then I'm going to add that music. So I've just downloaded it. Add music. Okay. Just wait a minute. My, my screen's thinking about it. Okay, there we are. So I'm just going to choose it. Press open. And then music's been added. So let's listen. Okay, everyone said they can hear. And then I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to start to talk. So I start to talk to that client, and tell them what we're going to do. I give them an intro, I get them excited about what we're about. Okay, maybe not the best music in the world, so I'd obviously listen to the file before. It was a little bit loud, so all I'm simply going to do is click on it. 
okay and i'm going to turn the music volume down dead dead simple put it down so it's just in the background as i'm speaking let's play and then i'm going to watch it and i'm going to start to talk so i start to talk to that client i tell them what we're going to come i give them an intro i get them excited with what we're about to okay dead dead easy i may now want to let me go back i may want to add an image i may want to split it here and add an actual um uh, an actual transition slide again all drag and drop all clicking on um i may be that i want to let me just go okay let me just make it a little bit bigger so i can see the sound file um i can look at the waveforms again knowing where to split it we've got different visual effects so i may want to change it slightly so now i've just changed it very easily to black and white okay may want to change it to look like that okay dead dead simple um loads of different things with regards to animations so we've got transitions okay transitions that we want to just plug in there and it's going to put it okay and as you go over the transition it shows you the different transitions that come in and you choose one that you want we've got uh, what we've got here now we can uh, let's go back to home so we can add photos dead easy again where would this come in handy well i'd simply um use my drop mock images i could do a portfolio of images rushing all the way through them talking and saying okay this is what i can do for you i can also do video mock-ups um again dead dead simple i can even share it i can share it via facebook youtube vimeo um r2 flicker as well so dead dead simple to use this application um, and as you start to get to use it you can create absolutely fantastic videos without the need of expensive actual um you know don't get me wrong i do use camtasia but what i'm trying to give you is an overall thing of what you can do now very easily without investing in anything else because you have drop mock and it gives that capability because the hardest thing about any of these things okay is actually the creation of the video the time consuming the costly um you know with regards getting it right every single time if you're if you're promoting multiple different things in multiple different genres in multiple different areas and you need different videos for all those how are you possibly going to do it because of the fact that they're so expensive they're so time consuming so it's 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 something now which is ready available to you okay so i'm going to quickly come back over to the actual drop mock demo okay and then we're going to answer any questions okay superb so i am going to answer these a, a little bit ladies and gentlemen i'm going to go through a, a few more things in, in a while but you are going to get a pdf and i'm going to give you that pdf now okay let me just get you that pdf um, and i'm going to put it into chat so you have that pdf okay let me just get that two seconds for you and it should actually be drop mark but i'll put it on the wrong link okay so okay sorry i'm just putting this in chat I don't know why he's done that. I hate the chat facility in this. Let me get that. So free software. It's going to be two seconds, guys. My, I've got to put things on Notepad, otherwise it won't click over correctly. There we are. Fantastic. So I'm just going to put the PDF now into chat. Okay. Let me just paste that in there. Uh, and you should have the PDF. Now that PDF... Like I said, links to everything that we have just spoke about in there. And I'll just open that PDF and I'll go through a few things so you, so you know. Okay. So this is a PDF and what you will actually see. Okay. Just so you're aware of that as when it loads. Okay. Fantastic. So the PDF is, is exactly what you see there. So the free software, um, everything's clickable. Like I said, it's there's no affiliate links in there. There's nothing hidden. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I use Snagit and I use Jing. Um, I just find them very easy to use, um, but both of those can be used with Windows and Mac, so Snagit can. Uh, Screencastify, uh, again, if you were to click on one of those, you'll see that a lot of these are, are Chrome plugins or, or plugins that you can actually add directly to your to your actual, um, if you're using Google, okay, so that's within there. But we use do different ones as well, which are just core plugins. The free software, Handbrake, I talk about then okay free video compressor is also a video editing file uh, but also lets you compress those files within there um, click champ again is another good one uh, and obviously the youtube editor you know you can use that note instantly within youtube movie maker again 
that's a downloadable software which is totally free I'll just show you just go to movie maker okay as you see it's Microsoft um, and it's for Windows and all those people will be saying you know I'm on Mac or, or whatever it may be but you've got the ability to be able to use um, the YouTube editor and if you are struggling with anything we will obviously give you um, other kind of hints and tips of, of what software to use out there okay so let me come over and start to use and sign that uh, Edward if you look into um, entire audience you should see the link it's lead7.com forward slash DM free software Sire, thank you so much for saying that I really appreciate that uh, okay ladies and gentlemen I'm, I'm now can you add PDF here yeah sure okay so I don't think you're getting the PDF my the team will start to do this um, I'm now going to start to answer some questions ladies and gentlemen because okay it, iMovie is similar for uh, a Mac Elizabeth thank you so I move yeah I move is um what I was trying to do on this there's, there's loads of good ones for Mac um, I really know there is what I was trying to do on this is, is give um, for certain free ones and I'm a bit um, let's say at a disadvantage because I don't use a Mac I'm I'm definitely uh, a PC man and uh, even though people are trying to get me to go over to the Mac okay um, video remix is a fantastic fit Randy with this okay so Yes, Robert, you can create it if you need the, the, the monthly. Guys, I've got a lot of people asking about the yearly, okay? Would it, because it's closed, would it help if we opened it up for this webinar? Okay, if you go over, you will see. Let me just quickly go over here and just show you. Um, but what I'm going to say is we will only give the link to people who ask for it in chat. Um, because, like I said, this is going to be a replayed. And people will actually, um, on the replay, they won't be able to get access to it. So I'm telling you, you know, if you're watching this as a replay, the link has gone individually. Okay. So what we're going to do now is if anybody wants the link for the yearly, then we will put it into chat. Um, is there still new access to mastermind sessions? I don't have it. Yes, FD, there is one. Guys in, in chat, can you give the people asking for that link just directly to them, but don't put it open to anybody? Okay, so everybody who's saying that they want the link, can you just put it to them, ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry, team, but don't put it out to everybody, please. And and, and Lee, so hey, can, hey, can Eric, I... Well, can guys, I... I don't know if you've heard Eric before, but Eric is um, very much someone that I do uh, a lot of partnerships with. Um, the guy's behind Video Remix, which is insane, and I've asked him to come into chat as as well and uh, help me out. So that, this is Eric, who you can hear. Yeah, so so on, on that end, would um, if anyone, because I'll, I'll be the one that's putting as well the link, if you do want it, so because there's over 250 people on this call right now, it's pretty crazy, so, so that we get you, please just put into the question box, link in all capital letters, nothing else, link in all capital letters, and we'll um, get it for you. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, actually, if you maybe get it, I might probably throw in a, a, a cool bonus. Uh, <laughs> Eric, Eric likes his bonuses. We'll get <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, I'm gonna get that. Oh wow, there's like literally hundred links here. Um, okay, so please, guys, give me a second. Uh, it's gonna maybe take me a little bit before I get to you, but I'll try to give you the link. Okay, all right, go, go ahead, Lee, while while you take the Q and A. Yeah. Um, for sure for sure um yeah we will get to you guys just the people who, who are asking for the link we will do that um for you um what we're going to do as well just so you know guys uh monthly you are going to get those new videos and those images in the um okay um i yeah, then you don't need anything tony if you already have the yearly you are set okay bridget that's fine if you've got the yearly, that's fine uh Will the way to um, only buy images for the theme? Yes, um, I should talk about that as well, guys. Is that um, basically? Yeah, if you there are chances in the software to get credit packed. If you just wanted to be a casual user of Dropmock, that's absolutely fine. We welcome you. In fact, we want you to be that. Um, however, the credit packs will be a lot more expensive than the yearly or the monthly. So for sure, it is it is um, definitely better to actually get into the actually yearly or the monthly but if you've got it fantastic uh, I should also say ladies and gentlemen if you are in the yearly or the monthly you should also be in the Facebook group okay it's an exclusive Facebook group um, and there's only one rule in there and there's no promotions 
So I don't think you're going to come in and it's going to be a promotion fest. Um, it's a fantastic group. It's a group of people that um, I respect and admire in there who help each other out. You know, we've got some people doing some, some training on their own, people sharing their success stories, people showing you what's working, what's not. So for sure, you need to be in the Facebook group as well. Uh, and how you get to the Facebook group is that you actually um, go to, in fact, I'll, I'll just show you quickly so you know. Okay, so uh, we can give you a direct link to for that. But what you would do is, let me just go to Facebook. Okay, let me just go to Dropmock Design. Okay. Okay, now this is a Facebook group. And we've got some amazing people in here. Rick, so far, I'm going to name them actually. Rick, Ron, amazing guys. Um, Naomi, Simon, Michael. Um, all these guys are absolutely amazing. Tony, Patty. Um, and like I said, the only thing that we ask is that we, there was no promotions. Um, okay, and the people that are, are, are in there all know this rule, and that rule is abided by me as well. Uh, okay, but there are people on this call now in this group, and I, I am appreciative of you being in that group. Um, so all we would do is we would go to, let me just go back to that other one. Okay, you would come up to drop mark, uh, and then you would come to the top link, which is here, and then you would apply for that group, and then we would actually look through that you are a yearly or a monthly and then we would give you access to the group okay so I'll, I'll put that in there for the entire audience but we're not going to put okay so you simply apply there um, Laura will be back soon so Laura will be doing webinars with me she's actually visiting her parents okay so the really cool thing about that she's not been home for two years for anybody who doesn't know Laura Laura has done the webinar with me Laura is one of the models within the software okay so I'll just show you Laura that's Laura the blonde girl um, and she's part of the drop mock team but she has gone over and saw um, her relatives for the last two years so with regards drop mock let me answer some questions as well about how we would actually approach clients with this well there's nothing kind of stopping us now because of the fact that we can create a portfolio of that now what I would do personally and we'll talk about this on the mastermind group um, over the next five weeks is that I would actually um, mock up if I was going to, people asking me specifically about clients, so I'm going to I'm going to talk and talk about clients. I do a lot of local consultation, um, and people are actively searching for people who can do this and paying an absolutely massive fee because they want to concentrate on their business. They want to concentrate on that business and growing that business, but they understand that they need a marketing actual angle they need someone to actually do the marketing for them so they actually want people to approach them with this type of thing now again you aren't going to be like just any random person who is approaching them with any old message and saying i can do this you can actually send them things you can send them videos mocking up their actual website mocking up how you can showcase and actually get their actual business in front of clients and kind of wow them so if for instance i was going to actually approach a local restaurant I would put their menu in one of the mock-ups and I would send it them, okay? And I would say, watch this video, see your menu, live video on video. Now, the clients wouldn't know that it's taking you less than 60 seconds to create that, okay? The work that they perceived, and remember, the mock-ups, what allow they you to do is give a massive perceived value, okay? A greater perceived value allows you to charge more, whether that be for products, whether that be to actual clients. So perceived value is instantly, if this is what they've done for a proposal to me, what could they do if I hire them full time? Okay, and the vast majority of what we do is actually getting our foot in the door. We can then upsell them on different management platforms. We can upsell them on pro providing multiple images, multiple videos, multiple times with multiple different marketing material. We can actually showcase all the discount offers what are going on we can actually um do facebook hey, advertising hey, please carry on um i don't know there's a lot of um things screen is not changing we don't see screen ah. um I, I so so i i don't know because I, I wasn't paying attention but yeah just fyi yeah yeah sorry guys yeah so I, sorry that's my fault <laughs> i'm pressing pause um so yeah so perceived value is is, is, is a massive thing and approaching a client with something mock up and showing them um, even though it's taking you less than 60 seconds to create that, they see, you know, that 
there's models there that the, the actual website is in a video is it playing in video you've mocked up those um, we'll go briefly talking about what kind of um, what Ross did with how he approached is in fact this is probably a good time to bring Adam in Adam can you can you um, come in and talk a little bit about Ross I know you've had a lot of contact with Ross and how he approached um, the actual contract that he won for forty five thousand dollars I know we're going to talk about a lot of that through our mastermind coaching Okay, sure before, thing. Yeah, so hey, Adam, before before you get on, um, just uh, just if anyone didn't get the link, please put link into the question box so that um, I can get you that link. And that's number one. Number two, um, like I, I I sent to the people that I did send to, just because I like giving away bonuses, I'm gonna give a fifty. Uh, video actually program. Um, it's it's um, it, it's a cash flow program. It's a little bit outside of the scope of what we're talking about, but I think it's a really cool bonus. Um, did, did actually a webinar about it yesterday. People absolutely loved it. Been getting some raving reviews on it. So I'll give that to you as a, for the first 25 that get in. So please put an once you are in, put an I'm in into the question box. Or if you got into yearly before, I'll give that to you as well, and you can as well put an "I'm in" into the question box, um, so so that you can uh, you can get that. Okay, just uh, just just because I I saw like a hundred links in in there, so so let let, let me know. Go, and and go go ahead. Sorry for cutting you off, Adam. Not a problem at all. Yes. Yeah, so um, Ross is an absolutely incredible guy. Um, I've had the pleasure of of talking with him and and learning more um, about his business and the way his business works. Um, and by using Dropmock. Now, when I was discussing with Ross, what Ross was able to do, and he had this idea. He says he he was about to walk into a client appointment, and he was going to go for the deal. And this deal was a big deal for $45,000. Now, when he was going, and he said this would happen right before, he saw Dropmock. He said it came out at probably the perfect time for him because when um, he was able to get Dropmock, and this was only the for the photo, this did not include the video one when he landed the sale. What he says, he bought Dropmock and he purchased Dropmock and he says he was just about to start going over to this appointment when he says, well, why don't I mock up a website um, and show how the website's going to look on the screen? And he did this for a very, very large um, hotel that is in um, his area. And when he did this, is he said it took so it was so quick and so simple, and that's the reason that he did it. Because if he were to have done this as he was going to like head over to this client appointment, if he had to go use say Photoshop or any other tools such as that, it would have took him much longer. But because he had a quick solution that he could simply put right in and, and it looked absolutely elegant and then take that and put that into his um, presentation and the, the opportunity that he had. When he brought that to the clients, they saw it and he beat out seven other companies that were competing for the same exact job. And because of that, right up front on that day, he got a check inside of his bank and he was able to deposit a $22,000 check because he got half of the money up front. And he told me, he says, listen, he says that helped out significantly. Dropmock helped out big time because it gave me the ability to show the client how it worked. And when I was talking with Ross and I said, well, Ross, I said, let me show you what Dropmock Video is all about. When he saw Dropmock Video, he looks at it and he goes, he goes, if I had this as well, this would help me land so many more deals because it's great showing inside of a photo. He goes, that's what really won me that $45,000 deal. He says, having that photo and, and putting that inside of his presentation so that the person could imagine how that website would look, he said that was incredible. But if I could have showed a user 
using that website, going through and ordering and clicking to book a room inside of that hotel. Now that is something to another level that he says just takes Drop Mock one step further and is going to help him land more appointments. And when I asked him, I said, listen, I said, are you going to be using Drop Mock in all of your presentation? He says, without a doubt, he says, Drop Mock is a solution um, that anybody can use, and especially in my business, going out and being able to help me land clients in a very simple, easy to do way. Um, and now when he's doing this and in, in when me and Ross um, were talking, he already has used Drop Mock Video and he's already had success using Drop Mock Video. So I don't know if we're um, going to talk about that right now, what a success he had using the video, um, but it is an absolutely incredible, incredible thing, the ways that people are going out and monetizing, especially Ross. I mean, imagine that. He's going to an appointment. He has the opportunity to bring home 40 $5,000 and he's competing against seven and eight other companies and he's the one that wins the, the company. He's the one that wins that um, that $45,000 bid and due to that, that is is what Dropmock's all about. It's giving you that opportunity to go one step over for your clients and help you win the deals. So Lee, I hope that um, pretty much sums up what Ross was able to do with Dropmock and how it helped him win that $45,000 contract. Yeah, but brilliant. I mean, I, I, I personally and everyone the same, we absolutely love success stories. Uh, we've had loads of them with regards to Dropmock. I mean, this was the biggest. I'm not I'm not going to lie. $45,000 is, is a phenomenal sum of money. Whoever um, you are, what position you're in, whatever position you're in, it is a great sum of money. Um, However, some people may be thinking, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be approaching clients. I'm not going to be approaching and, and trying to close those kind of deals. And yeah, that, that's that's just something what is achievable. However, even if you're doing things, um, e-commerce, if you're doing affiliate marketing, if you're creating videos for your YouTube channel, um, what we always want to do as well, not only perceive value, and I spoke about it on the webinar, the training webinar we've done. Um, we always want to make a good first impression, okay? That that's vital, and many times, and, and when we talk about a good first impression, I don't just mean by actually physically meeting somebody or sending something to a person. I even mean creating the Facebook ads. I even mean having your website looking good. I even mean having your squeeze page looking as hot as it possibly can, as professional as it possibly can. Um, by then, we we basically with that good first impression it breaks down that initial barrier of the fact that okay this guy knows or girl knows knows what they're doing um they're developing something pretty special here it looks good it must be value there must be value after that as well um and we've got those little micro commitments as well the first part of any micro commitment is obviously getting the view getting the click uh, and that leads on to something else but all the time, if we make it look as we possibly good as it possibly can, then we're going to have a much better chance of converting them to a sale. For sure, it all depends on the offer that you are supplying at the end of the day. But if you're supplying mock-ups, if you're supplying video mock-ups, if you are selling them, then the product is quality. Um, what we can also do is we could even do things like freelancing with it. And, you know, uh, again, it's entirely up to you what, what you do do with Dropmock if you have the commercial license. But let's say, for instance, a real basic thing of Fiverr, for instance. You know, you were to go over there, you were to sell mock-ups. And when was the last time you went to Fiverr and spent just $5? There's so many upsells now. You know, they pay more to actually turn things around in 24 hours. They pay more to give it you in HD. They pay You pay more to actually get a HD download. You pay more to get away the actual branding. There's loads of things that you pay more for, but you can turn these around now at a rapid succession. You can turn these around in minutes, in, in some circumstances with the images, seconds. So there's really not much that you cannot do with Dropmock with regard to creation of images or mock-ups and the creation of videos. So what else is going into the application? Um, I'll give you a, a little bit of background in what we're on today with regard to discussion, discussion with the actual development team um, but please don't take this as gospel this is kind of in in discussion because what we also do is we ask our customers what they would like to see in there um, 
the number one thing at the moment was was sound, was volume, um, and we are looking at that. The problem that we have is that it's very difficult to get the timings right with regard. We have a middle your section and then the end, so there's a transition between when should the sound play? Should it be through all the video? Should it fade out when yours comes in? Will it match your sound? So it's something that we're working on. We are discussing. Uh, people are asking about, can I ask for certain templates to be put in there? Yeah, of course you can. And, and in fact, we do encourage it. That doesn't mean we can 100% guarantee that it will. Um, and if a lot of people do want it in there, we will try our hardest. But that, again, please don't take that is that if you ask for something, it will be in there. But the beauty about having the team is that we can virtually take it anywhere that we want. And that's why it's such an amazing thing to be part of at this moment. And we're grateful for, for everybody being part of that as well. And yeah, it's going to keep going from strength to strength. Now, when you see this in 12 months time, um, you will actually see what an amazing deal this was for. So it is, it is something that we are proud of. Uh, and we're also proud of people using it. That, that's the really crazy thing. And I, I'll get off my kind of soap box in, in, in a little while. But it's so refreshing to actually see people using it. And listen, I've launched software before. I've been launching software for the last two years. Um, this now is, is is what we launch. It's our our flagship. Um, but we've launched software before, and people haven't used it. People haven't touched it. But people are using this. People are getting results from it and sharing those with us. And that's 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 something you know we're extremely proud of. Um, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that people are enjoying it so I'm gonna answer some more questions now coming in and happy that so um, again guys I I may have missed some so does the placeholder for the embed video always need to be motionless can shift or rotate does a placeholder for embed video always Bruce I'm not 100% sure that does the placeholder for an embed video okay uh, Ahmed we, we're getting um, some more male ones we're also getting um, an Afro-Caribbean lady uh, we're getting different models. We're doing ones without models in. So, again, that is coming, and we're setting up the new scenes for that. Uh, hey, hey, Lee, um, I, I see a couple of people uh, continually asking uh, because, so if you didn't get the link to Yearly and you want to upgrade to Yearly or you want to get into Yearly, uh, we, we highly recommend it. Uh, please put link into that question box in case you didn't get it from. And um, at this point, there are still, I'll, I'll still honor 10 more bonuses. Um, so if you want to get into that, and once you do get into it's only for yearly, um, I'll give you that, that cash flow website investing 101 course that I think you guys will absolutely love. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, Sandra, yeah, okay, no problem at all, Sandra. If if for any reason, well, I should also, guys, as well, for anybody who wants that link yet, please do, because, um, like I said, we are only offering it on this call, so you have missed, just let Eric know in chat. Um, what I would also say is that if anybody is, you know, sends a support ticket in or anything, please do ensure that if you sent it in via the support desk, if you sometimes think we've not replied, make sure you log into the support desk and see the reply. That we also have the chat facility okay which is monitored um, as well so we have two links within the uh, we will always try to answer ASAP obviously the team do have to sleep at certain times but if anybody's got any issues um, you can always reach out to me as well I'm in the Facebook group you I'm quite accessible um, obviously we want you to go through support first we'd ask you to watch the training videos but if there's any problems make sure you do go direct through the application which you can see uh, so let's have a look at Rick's question now. So, so, so we should try signing up. Up here. You should try, Rick. Yeah, for sure, I would do. Uh, yeah, Constance, for sure. Yeah, we're getting the Caribbean Ray. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, it does, Ian. Okay, Kathleen. When my video shows, it's always in a fixed place on the screen. Oh, okay, okay, Bruce. Yeah, okay. I get what you're saying there. Um, at the moment, yeah, but we are potentially looking at movement, yes. Um, Marty, you should have every month 200 credits hitting your account, okay? So 200 credits. Um, I think for the first month, you got 100 bonus as well, so you should have 300. If you get the yearly 
um, that's 2,400 credits within your account. Um, well, how much does it cost us per credit? Rebecca, there's different packs, so you could get 10 credit pack. Um, I'll have to look at the prices of those, um, but there are and they're available. If you've got the right-hand side, let me just show you the. Let me just show you within here. We have the ability to buy credit packs in here in my profile. So if you go and look there and go to credits, um, okay, you can purchase credits there. Uh, what it also does, it gives you a breakdown of what I've used credits on. So as you can see, um, you also have actually um, a, a housekeeping a bookkeeping to know what they actually were spent on the credits but it won't show me there because I've not got my credit card attached to it okay we can also change the password in there yes we can do that and um, no it's closed down on the sales page so if you go to the drop mock sales page I'll just show you now just so you can see that you'll see that the 197 is closed so that's why we're only doing it on this webinar okay so it's only the monthly available if you are watching this via replay um, and you send a support ticket in this is just explaining that we were only offering it to people that asked okay we're not putting the link in um, and if you go to drop mock club where it was then you'll see that it's been sold out been closed okay and it's specifically for this webinar that's all okay so answer more chat now okay come in uh, yes, you can, Larry. You can. Yeah, you just have to. Uh, we can give you that, and you just let me just give you that so you have it. Uh, yes, you can, Robert. You can do that. All you need to do is um, just cancel the subscription. Okay, we won't do that for you. Okay. 